guys, Sponge Murphy here. So I'm going to do an unboxing video for the Vampire Accounts Fire Guys slash Cryptars set. Uh, this is a dual kit or dual kit. Um, as you see on the cover, you, you see the Fire Guys. They're kind of the flying guys. Um, you know, paler looking in skin. And then the back, you get the Cryptars, which are like the big muscly version of Crypt Ghouls. Um, I'm not sure about the price this, I forgot to check it before I started but um, I have done I have made a crypt hire before so they're pretty nice model um, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what the fire guys are like so so um, so let's open it up and see what's inside so first off you get your bag your three bases just standard you get your instruction booklet which is there's plenty in it because Apart from there's kind of see the models are all kind of different. They're not, you know, three standard guys the same pose or anything. So there's a fair bit of instructions for for each one. And plus you open it up then to um to see if you want to make the other set instead. So whatever you go for. So uh, onto the sprues. Let's have a look. There's three sprues in it. So it's not too bad for a dual kit. Uh, let's have a look. Let's start on the bottom then. So uh, first off, um, now there's a lot of body parts in this that I'm not really going to go into too much detail with because they kind of there's like like, a, like over here you have like or like a side body and another side body and everything. So I'm not really going to go into them in great detail. But um, first off, you have like one of the I'm pretty sure that's a Cryptar arm. I think the Vargas don't have any weapons. So it's like a bone or a club with some spikes sticking out of it. You have another arm. Let's go check the box. Yeah, that's a Cryptar arm because the Vargas don't have any hands. Their arms are just the wings, I think. Oh, that's what it looks like on the picture anyway. And they're all numbered. Like the new newer kits, they're all kind of numbered. So it's pretty handy to know what's going where if you follow the instructions. Then you have the leg. I didn't know this is in it. Uh, the leg with kind of a little base scenic part on the bottom of it with a skull and a rock. Um, I was looking at this part actually. When I open it first, this little cool little body part to hang out. That's pretty cool. That's pretty handy to have. Nice little addition. Um, just another Krypton arm. Then you get like a, a few of these little spiky bits that stick on the side of them. That are um, for the Kryptars. Then you have one of the wings, which are, yeah, you can see, there you go, there's his arm coming down. And then it goes up like he has no hand in his arm, just where it kind of like a wrist, oh sorry, where a wrist would be, it just kind of extends out into a wing. So on the other one is on the other side of that then. So I'd imagine, without even looking at the rest of the spoon, there's only two wings on that, or two big wings. So I'd imagine the other two are on the rest of the sprue. So then move down to the bottom. We have, I think it kind of looks like a leg. I think it's a Vargas leg because it has a little bit of fur on it. Um, oh yeah, and the foot there then. And then there's like a little scenic part where we get a few skulls. And you have the two wings. They're the two wings that, for the Vargas. Oh, one guy has wings on his back. As well as the wings on his arms, so. That will fit on there pretty nicely. That body part is... Oh, that's the Vargas back. One of them has like... I think all of them have it up with like the fur. Kind of goes down along the spine. I think that must be the other half there then. Yeah. And then just a few spiky bits then. For the Cryptars or... Well, you can put the magic and use them for whatever you want really. Um. Anything else I missed out on the sprue? There's just like other spiky bits here on the side. A few nice few little add on bits if you wanted to use them. And then the body parts that are here. You know, there's the main torso, you know. It's pretty nice. I, I'd imagine you can use this for like a few conversion bits if you want that as well. Like it's pretty nice standard looking body piece. That the two back pieces here, I think they're probably for crypt horrors. I'm not too sure. I've only ever made one Cryptar and I've never made the Fire Guys, so a lot of parts in this sprue are still new to me. So, uh, sprue number two, which 
No, they're not the same. Because I haven't seen any heads, so some parts have to be different. So we'll start up here. There's the more wings. Just look from the arm, leading out onwards. Um, there's a nice little back bit here. Is that? Yeah, it's a side piece. So I imagine the part over here. This one here. I imagine that's the other piece for that. Well, it's number 23, and that one's numbered 22. Yeah, so it's kind of a zoom in a bit. It's pretty nice looking because it has like the skin getting pulled apart, and there's like gaps in between with the like, bits of bone coming up. That's pretty nice. Well, pretty gory, pretty nice if you're into that stuff. Um, more back bits, another torso. It's pretty much the same. There's the other back with like, the fur coming up over. That's just a, it's a side bit, so another part going to that. They have a big arm with an even bigger uh, bone club on the end of it. Um, for the crypt horror. That must be, this part here must be the other side part then. For the other piece I was showing. Then you have a big open hand for the crypt horror. I'm not sure what this is. If I turn it over, must be a piece to just add on to the. End. Oh, I think I might remember this piece because I did have trouble putting one. Oh yeah, sure. Look up above it. This arm is number twenty-eight. That's numbered sixty-two. Maybe I thought maybe it's not part of that, but I think that's the part that goes onto the arm, just in there. Because I remember when I put. The crypt hard together. There was one piece that really wouldn't fit together properly for me. Uh, your two legs. Um, I'm not sure if there's separate legs. Was there legs on the other piece? There was, yeah. I'm not sure if we have spare legs in this set. I know once I build one, when I build them up, just uh, another arm with a um, like a bone piece sticking through it. Another part that will stick into the arm. Oh, here's the first head then as well. We gotta go look at it. This is whatever. It's a Vargas head. No, oh, very much like a bat. Like spiky head and nose. His nose is up higher than his eyes. I wasn't mad on the heads on these. They kind of grow on me after a while, but I'm still not like really mad on them. That's why I kind of I got these to make crypt horrors, but I probably end up just making like three Vargas as well, just to see what they're like. So, actually, his head is pretty cool with the hair because it's like a big spike. Uh, the guy from the Gremlins, the man Gremlin, the man bad guy, he has a spike going up through his head. It kind of looks like him a bit. So, um, so that's it for sprue number two. We'll have a look at the final sprue. Is this the one? Yeah, because it has all the heads in it. So, a lot of heads along beyond this one. Uh, let's start up here. Oh, that one. So uh, first off, there's another Vargas head on it. Uh, they are detailed really well. It's just I'm not mad on the look of them. They're really fucking ugly. They're pretty ugly guys. So, um, then you have another set of wings with the arms for the Vargas. Like there's not massive differences between them. They're all kind of like standard, like the same. Like this guy has holes in the wings that are on, it might not have, but there's nothing really much to stick out. This one though, now that I said it, he does kind of have like a finger or a hand at the end of it. Which I don't think the other two have. So that's kind of nice, you can probably put that on your, like, your leader guy maybe. And then on this end you get your other skull. You get, you just get the three skulls, you don't get any spare heads for the Vargas. So if you're making the Vargas, you're not going to be having any spare heads left over, so. Um, I might flip that over because it's a body piece. Um, just a furry back, and then another piece on the opposite side is just to match that as well. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Crypt tower arm, big left hand, or a piece to fit in the arm with the skull going through it. This, oh, that's half a torso there, so that must be for. Well, I, yeah, there's only three torsos in the box, I think, so. So that one's kind of weird, the way there's like two, like a separate down the middle. Uh, two legs, just like the other ones, pretty much. There's no, not, not, no scenic parts on the bottom of it. Um, there's a head there, but I'll come back to it because I'll do all the heads together. And then there's the other part of the torso up there, the other half. And then there's the arm for the crypt tower that, um, you know, he's holding on to like a bit of a tombstone or something. That's, this is the arm I did and I had trouble with it because 
I think, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, this part here is meant to go into the slot into there. And for the life of me, it just wouldn't fit in right. I couldn't see how it fits in. Like, it didn't look right. And I think I just got it in the end. I can't remember how, but it just worked. So the three Crypt Horror Heads. I'll have a look at them. Now, this is the last piece of the box. This guy. Yeah, their noses are kind of the same. But they're not as, like, they don't look as, like, bats as much. But this guy's pretty cool. He has, like, like a necklace chain thing. Well, like a skull and bones on it so that guy can obviously be your leader you know just to separate him a bit to make him look a little bit cooler and um, you spot under his eye and everything and the bald head and then the other two heads are down on the bottom here let me move back up and focus on a bit there they are Yeah, there you go. One guy has his mouth open with like teeth missing, and the other guy is kind of like snarling. Rawr. And there, you know, the detail on these are pretty cool. Their ears are sticking out and everything. The faces are pretty. You know, for crypt horrors, they do have the face for it. So they kind of have the, that dumb look on them, but strong. Like this guy looks like, like even without paint on, it look kind of looks like that eye on the left. It's like a blind eye or something. I'll full focus on that and on the wood behind it. No, that's not going to go in there close. But uh, you can get a pretty good look at them from this way. There you go. And you can see the lines under the eyes and everything. So, so that's it. Just three sprues in the box. Um, a lot of detail. A lot of detail bits in it. So you get, so you get like a choice of two pretty cool looking units. I don't know what they're like the game I think the Crypt Powers are like the guys who have, have like the higher toughness and the fire guys have the like stronger attacks or something like that and I know they can fly and I know they have the fly special rules so so um, that's it let me know what you guys think of the fire guys Crypt Powers uh, dual box um, they're really cool two cool models sets you can make from I probably wouldn't go with the white from it. I'll stick with the green for them if I did more alright. The kind of pearly white on these are a little bit off. Plus they can be hard to pull off as well. And their feet look like they're wearing boots as well because they're kind of like coloured in. But um, I don't know what you guys think. Stay tuned for another video where I'm going to build these guys up and then I'm going to paint them up. So uh, let's build. A model will be coming up shortly after this. So uh, thanks for watching, let me know what you guys think, leave a comment below, hit the like button and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.